television had, had emerged with a capital E, and uh, it was a very uh, powerful part of the entertainment business at that time. Very rich, very powerful, very important. Uh, people were no longer looking down, actors were no longer looking down at television as they once had. And we had a small agency, but it was a it was an important agency. We represent a lot of good people. And we, we represented someone who hadn't been in television but was interested in somehow being involved, and that was Bing Crosby. Rosie represented Bing Crosby for years. And an interesting thing about Bing, he was very modest. And Rosie said to him one day, you know, Bing, you're doing this radio show, or maybe it was a television show, I don't know. He was doing something every week, aside from the movies he did. And Rosie said, you ought to get Louis Armstrong. You'd be great together. And Bing said, oh, I couldn't. Oh, I, I, I couldn't do that. And Rosie said, why not? And he said, I'm not good enough. Well, he did get Louis Armstrong. They were great together, and they made a movie together called High Society. Anyway, Bing wanted something to do with television, but he wanted, he didn't want himself to be involved. So we formed a company called Bing Crosby Productions, which mainly, and maybe only, as I remember, did television. But he, Bing, didn't know about the creative end of it, so he hired sort of business people to be in charge of it. They didn't know anything about creating the shows. So I decided I would create the shows, take them to the Crosby Productions, and we would, I would be involved however it was necessary. So I, we represented a writer by the name of Jim Mosier, who came to me with an idea for a hospital show and a special kind of a doctor. And I thought it was a good idea. And I worked with him on the outline for the pilot. And we worked the whole thing out. Then I went to Tom Moore in New York, who was head of ABC, head of the network. And I said to him, Tom, I've got this great television series idea, um, and I have an outline, and it's called Ben Casey. And he's a sort of special doctor. He's kind of tough, and he's not, he's not the, the sort of uh, model, uh, adorable creature that everybody thinks of as the, as the ideal doctor. But he's a very good doctor. And Tom said to me, a hospital show? That's the worst thing I ever heard of. Nobody wants to see a hospital. Nobody will look at a hospital show. That's so depressing. I said, no, it's not depressing. It's interesting. They will look at it because it's life and death. There's nothing better on television than life and death. And that's it. Well, in those days, if they believed in you, and they thought you were talented. They thought you were good at what you did. They went with you. Today, that's not necessarily true. Tom Moore said okay to Ben Casey. We did the pilot with Vince Edwards, who they also thought was just the craziest idea they ever heard of because he looked like he ought to be on the streets of New York. Uh, it was a great success, the biggest success that ABC ever had at that time. And Vince became the idol of the world. He was the most popular actor in Japan, for instance. Anyway, it worked. 